and look at that look at that isn't that so cool i have a major major bug problem i have an infestation of spider mites inside of this greenhouse and it's starting to spread to other plants outside of this greenhouse so in this video i'm going to show you an alternative option to beat these bad bugs using good bugs let's go What's going on my plant people, my plant familia? I am the ADHD gardener where I use gardening, house plants, and humor as a form of mental health therapy. And I got a problem, a major, major problem. And that is called spider mites. I have a lot of them, but I'm not talking one, two plants. No, no, no. I'm talking infestation level. I'm talking about spider mites on maybe about 50 plants. Now I know one of the options to combat this aphid problem is to spray down your plants with neem oil or spray it down with water like I did right here. Yes, now that can work because obviously I'm doing it right here as you can see. However, if you have more than one plant, let's say 50 plus, now what are the chances of you being able to bring out all 50 plants outside to go spray them down. Now that's a little hard, I'm not gonna lie, because I gotta say, I brought at least 15 plants outside and that was a pain in the ass. I'm gonna be using good bugs to get rid of those bad bugs. And I know that I'm gonna be using ladybugs, or in the UK, I believe they call them ladybirds. Isn't that so cute, ladybirds? They love spider mites, they love aphids, they love them so much, that's their staple diet. So what I did was I went to Amazon and I ordered some ladybugs. You can always just check it out on Amazon or I could drop a link down here below. You can go check that out. In my eyes is go big or go home. And what did I do? I bought 1,500 ladybugs. All right, here we, what we got? Some ladybugs, thank you. Aw, oh, thank you for your order. Well, I thank you for having these available for me to buy. Um, aside from them giving me a sticker, and you thank you for my order, they come with this little postcard, and this gives you some instructions. I think these instructions can go for outside, but we're gonna implement some of these instructions for the inside of the house, okay? And look at that! Look at that! Isn't that so cool? I'm telling you, ladybugs are so beneficial. They are such voracious spider mite eaters. Another reason why I have a spider mite infestation inside of here is because I did not have proper ventilation. You must have proper ventilation when it comes to your house plants because if you don't, it is a breeding ground for bugs. What happened was I knew it, but I didn't have a fan on me that was that small. So I said, eh, I'm not gonna need it that bad. That was a lie. Now that I'm sitting inside of my greenhouse and I turned my fan off, I definitely noticed that there are bugs flying around me. Very, very small bugs. I'm no bug pro, so if you're into bugs and stuff, or you have some more ladybug knowledge, please let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know down in the comments below if you have used beneficial bugs to your advantage. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open, after you open this, you're going to tap out a few ladybugs at the base of your plant, all right? Oh, they're all starting to escape. Okay. Well, I'm gonna just drop a few here. Sorry, ladybugs, you freaked me out, yo. They are still bugs, so when you feel something kinda climbing on you, <gasps> ooh, that can freak you out in the beginning. But you get used to it knowing that it's just ladybugs. I'm just dropping some at the base of the plant and I'm gonna let them do their magic. Look at that, that has so many spiders. Oh, that's an actual spider. There, let's drop some there, here, here. I closed this off right now because I'm gonna be spreading this into other parts of my house as well as my outdoor greenhouse. So let's go do that. I'm going to be dropping some in here as well. Tons of them here. These ladybugs will definitely have something to eat here because they are flying absolutely everywhere. Everywhere, oh my gosh. I'm letting the magic happen. All right. 
I still have a lot of ladybugs. Remember, I ordered 1,500 of them. So chances are, I'm going to be seeing ladybugs in my life for a long, long time, whether they be inside or outside. Outside, inside. You know what I mean. I released a good portion. Remember, 1,500 ladybugs. That's a lot. So if you're going to be doing this inside of your house, chances are you're not going to need 1,500 of them. I knew that I was going to be spreading these ladybugs throughout my entire first floor of my house, as well as two greenhouses. Then I knew that I was going to need a lot of ladybugs. Mind you, I can also do this with lace wings also. Do you release lace wings and ladybugs at the same time? Or is it one or the other? I've only tried them one at a time. I do not know if you can do them together, but look at that. I love them. Two weeks later. What's up guys? I have a two week update on what has happened since I released the ladybugs into the atmosphere uh, basically everywhere. Well, I gotta say it is a lot better. It is a lot better. I see less spider mite webs. I also see less spider mites in general. In a nutshell, the ladybugs were eating the aphids and the spider mites. Now the aphid problem was not as bad as the spider mites, so I no longer have aphid problems. But what I do have lingering around is I do still have spider mites. Here's the fallacy in thinking about, you know, ladybugs or other beneficial bugs that it's going to be 100% proof. It is not. They are a good help. I mean, did the ladybugs really help me out? Yes, they did. They killed off at least about 80% of the amount of bugs that I had here. Mind you, I had an infestation, y'all. I mean, I had spider mites everywhere in at least about 40 plants. I mean, it was bad, really bad. I saw spider webs everywhere. A few of my plants got killed off. They were sacrificial, I guess, that I just left them so the spider mites can just stay away from the rest of them. It was bad. Yes, I know I still have spider mites. So why would you buy the ladybugs? The ladybugs were super, super helpful in killing off about 80% of that spider mite population. So it was still worthwhile because I knew that I was over my head with all these plants and neem oil and the temperature, you know, the weather wasn't working with me. I needed some backup. I needed some backup, you know, and those ladybugs came through clutch and they really killed off a lot of these spider mites. Now that means that it is up to me and being mindful Damn that mindfulness again. I'm always talking about being mindful, but this is really going to have to kick in right now after this because I still have spider mites. Don't assume that they're going to be killing off or doing 100% of the work. That is not the case at all. They are here to help you. That does not mean they're going to do all the work for you. They're on your side. They're partners in crime with you, okay? You need to pull your weight just like the ladybugs are going to pull their weight. So you need to work together. But now that the ladybugs have done their part already, now it's up to us to be mindful as heck, pay really close attention to our plants now. Being that the spider mites are still here, we're gonna go back to our regular bug, you know, bug control protocol. Being that I can't go outside like that and bring any of these plants out here, I don't know if I'm really going to be able to get rid of it 100%. As long as it's manageable, as long as it has not spread absolutely everywhere, then it's okay. Of course, it's a good thing that we always have plants around us, but it's also like a double-edged sword because chances are that you'll always be with bugs in any kind of bug form. So this is why it is so good to learn how to manage them because if you know you can never really get rid of them completely 100% then we need to learn how to manage them at all times. So you know so the infestation never comes back as big as it did before you know. Being mindful and self-aware is very hard for us as it is but this is why plants are so good in teaching us how to be mindful and how to pay attention because in order for us to be able to keep plants alive we have to pay attention. We have to be mindful. So this is a good, you know, it's a win-win situation. They get the love and care that they need and I get to learn how to be mindful in the process. So it works out. I hope you enjoyed this video and you really got something out of it. And also let me know down in the comments below, have you ever dabbled in beneficial bugs? Lace wings, ladybugs, let me know down in the comments below because I'd love to know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did like this video and you want to show me some love then don't forget to smash that like button. I really appreciate it. Also if you haven't already then consider subscribing. I drop a video every week and then some in between. And last but not least, 
You can catch me up on Facebook and Instagram. I'm on there all the time. I share some pictures, some memes, some funny stuff, DIY projects, and a little bit on the personal side. So until then, until the next episode, I will catch you guys later. Peace and love.